Welcome to this tips and tricks video on accessing your data in Seek Workbench. My name is Chris and I'm an analytics engineer at Seek. In this video, we'll explore various methods to access and analyze your data efficiently. The Data tab is your primary tool for accessing data in Seek Workbench. Here you can search for signals, conditions, scalars, and assets relevant to your analysis. Simple searches involve typing in the search box, which will search through all connected data sources to find matches. The Recently Accessed section provides a running list of the items used anywhere in the workbook. You can search this list by clicking on Recently Accessed. When searching for multiple results, you can use wildcards in your simple searches, such as an asterisk for multiple character wildcards, or a question mark for single character wildcards. If you need to further narrow down your search, you can use the filter and sort dropdown, which allows you to filter by description, data type, and data sources. Keep in mind that search results can be sorted, but they may time out for large number of matches. For more complex searches, Seek allows regular expression searches. To enable regex in the search box, add a forward slash before and after your search. Note that regex is case sensitive. Navigating an asset tree allows you to search within specific branches of the tree. Search results will be limited to items that are descendants of the current node. For example, if you're currently navigated to Cooling Tower 2 in the Seek example data, a search for compressor power will return the results for area D, area E, and area F only. Simple navigation in the asset tree involves clicking the reset button under the search box to display the root level of all connected trees. You can then drill down to the next level of the tree by clicking the asset name. Pinned assets and items are another useful feature in Seek Workbench. By clicking the pin icon, you can save important assets, making them accessible in other worksheets and by other users in the workbook. This can be particularly helpful when sharing important assets across a team. Swapping assets is a handy feature if you have built an analysis on a single asset at a single level of an asset tree and want to swap all the trends and calculations to a similar asset. To perform this swap, Click on the icon with two opposite facing arrows to the right of an asset's name. Importing data from external sources is also possible in Seek Workbench. One common use case is importing CSV files. You can navigate to the Tools tab and then select Import Export to import your CSV files. Adjust the settings such as the interpolation method and the timestamp information as necessary, and click Execute to complete the import. For more advanced users, Seek Data Lab provides the capability to import data from open sources using API requests. This can be useful for connecting data that's not connected to Seek, such as natural gas spot pricing data from the EIA.gov website. To visualize the imported data from Seek Data Lab, Click on the link in the output of the spy.push method. This will display the data trended in your workbook, allowing you to analyze and interpret the data easily. Once imported, you can schedule the notebook to run periodically to keep your data up to date. In conclusion, accessing and analyzing your data in Seek can be made easier and more efficient by utilizing the tools and techniques we've discussed. Whether it's simple searches, navigating asset trees, or importing data from external sources, Seek provides a comprehensive platform for your data analysis needs. By incorporating these tips and tricks into your workflow, you can streamline your data analysis process and unlock valuable insights. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks from Seek.